Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Yes, I'm outside. There's going to be lots of noise. There are kids playing outside, uh, planes going over, all that. I'm in a different location right now uh, and just doing the best we can. I just moved into a temporary place because I had a little gap in between leases. So that's where I'm at right now. So just bear with me here. You're going to hear background stuff, but it's fine. It's beautiful out. So we're outside. Yay, finally. So this is actually for the week beginning August 7th, 2023. They are really timeless though. I'm getting this up on the 8th, which is the 88 Lions Gate energy portal. And uh, the reason for that, again, I was just moving. Couldn't find my equipment. It's been a whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and film and post the daily for August 7th. Again, they're timeless. So you can go back and watch that if you care to. So let's... Uh, do a general we'll break it down into three groups the timestamps will be below and if you want to work with me just go to angelsouls444.com all right let's see what's going on for today well not for today for this week but uh filming this on this day i'm excited to see the lion's gate energy uh and how it kind of spans out release okay well that makes sense because around this time we're releasing a mindset we're releasing how we think things need to go right so if you're stuck in your career you might have it in your mind that there's only one career trajectory for you or uh, maybe you think you're always going to be single you know release those ideas so new things can come in so you can transform the number on here is 13 reduces to four Lionsgate uh, energy portal is also a beautiful time there's so much noise around here, but it's fine. <laughs> We're going to make it. Um, this is a beautiful time to connect with your, you know, spirit guides, your angels, archangels, because the veil is very thin around this time. So keep that in mind. Good for uh, spiritual downloads as well. So this is Archangel Osriel, who again is all about transformation. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on, baby. Okay, but this is in a very, very positive kind of way time to move on time to let go as I said before it's more about the thinking and what we think we deserve or what we think we have to do there's oh there's the plane oh you guys can't see it but I want to explain it there's like the moon is kind of still out here during the day and that looks like a like one of those little twin engine planes <laughs> going over and it's right underneath the moon it's really cool then we have page of air so there's see the mind it's a mind reset very much so Logical, honest, page of error. Did I say that? Page of error. Logical, honest, impulsive, curious, challenging information. That's hard truths that you're having to face. And that might be, you know, I've gotten myself stuck. We're so quick to blame others for what happens to us, but are we getting ourselves, are we getting in our own way? We're self-sabotaging. Delays or changes to plans, which are good. Truth delivered without tact. Well, again, maybe you're being hard on yourself. Maybe you are saying... You know, I'm, I'm so dumb because I did this, that, and the other, or, you know, I should have learned earlier. That is not, you were exactly where you needed to be. There's nothing to feel bad about. It's not about that, okay? Reset how you think. Oops, I flipped that the wrong way. Okay, rethink how you think, <laughs> okay? Then we have 10 of fire. All the, like, we're done. We're laying down the burdens. Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. So this is a time. Now remember, the Lion's Gate energy just has its sort of culmination point today when I'm filming this. Um, but it'll go on for a while after, all right? So this is a time where everything is being challenged. Um, you know, your normal routines are challenged. You're realizing how much you've been carrying and you know, the gift here today is, or for this week, I keep saying today, sorry, for this week is to just lay that all down and to be able to find some peace and a fresh start. Four of water. All right. So this might be a little challenging for some of you. And the message I think as all this is laid out, it's, it's sort of, we're stuck in our ways, maybe afraid to try something new. You know, I was afraid to bring my camera outside, but it's so gorgeous. And I said, well, there's bugs there's dogs there's airplanes <laughs> there's traffic there's kids playing but it's nice out let's get out and enjoy it right so challenging what you deem to be normal but this four of water it says uh, missing an opportunity no you won't you won't miss it but it's telling you to be you know ready 
to lift your head up and look around. Discontentment or boredom, open your eyes to the possibilities. So this is a, if anything, a challenging time of, I gotta let go of how I've seen myself, what I've accepted. Um, when you lift your head up and you look around and you're like, there are other possibilities here. I just did that this morning where like I got so hung up on how am I going to do X, Y, and Z and, you know, go in this direction with my life and what do I want to work on? And then I was like, does it have to be done in a certain bit of time? Not necessarily. And do I have to approach it the way I thought? Cause that way it's not working. No, I don't have to do that. We can always shift. So that's really what this week is about learning where you can, I mean, that 10 of fire. And what was the other one? It's just a release card. I think uh, this is definitely saying time for a change time to let go of how you think things need to be done. I thought I dropped a card, but I did not. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the color card is here. Okay. Oh, pink. Let love in. This is very beautiful. The numbers four. Boy, if we had a card that said, hey, your guardian angels are with you. The archangels are with you. Four is your guardian angels, typically. But look at this. and saying, be done with all the tough stuff. Be done with, you know, worrying about things that maybe you have no control over. Let the love in. All the love. Fall in love with life again. Oh, I love this. Yes. So it's good. But again, the, the feeling I'm getting around this is that the challenging part is admitting the truth to yourself without beating yourself up for some of you and allowing yourself to maybe take a, an educated risk, a calculated risk, right? <laughs> like don't go off and do something impulsive, but you know, giving yourself a little grace and allowing you to explore new things that could really bring you happiness. Embrace it guys. All right. So we'll leave it there for the general and we'll move on to the groups. group one i hope you're all doing all right please make sure that you watch the general that's the other part of your message and if you would like to work with me go to my website angelsouls444.com i can help you through all these uh energy portals that are coming up and see where you've been stuck what what have you become numb to you know getting a different perspective on that all right so let me tune into the energy of the people watching this group of air. You guys are worried. Okay. But it, we're, we're good. Okay. We're good. Expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. The general was saying, you know, we're getting in our own way. And with this Lion's Gate portal, which is the time that I am filming this, it's about letting this type of stuff go. What are you worrying about? What are you giving space to that you can't change right now? Or, you know, whatever it is, if it's global things that are really weighing heavily upon your heart you know it, it's time to change your thinking around that eight of earth skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school this feels like a redirection and it's saying instead of worrying about things educate ed educate that's what i just said yeah we're, we're good we're fine we're gonna be all right <laughs> educate yourself on something that intimidates you scares you uh, i'm trying to think of an example like you know, when you have something that you're stressing about, anything, pick something. And then you go through it and you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad. 
right? You see what I'm saying? It's usually the anticipation that scares us the most. So if you're worried about something, look into it, get the facts, and then you'll be able to handle it from there. Okay. So then we have six of earth. This is lovely. Gifts of money, time, or effort. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people supporting you as well. And maybe coming in and saying, hey, you don't have to worry about that. Here's some information, right? And then you'll be able to move move in a direction that helps you. New career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts, you're getting yourself stuck. And the nice thing about this, though, is that something breaks open. Maybe it's on the 8th of August, maybe. It doesn't have to be because, again, these are timeless. De you know, depending on when you're watching this, there could be a moment that you're finally um, having your moment of release and letting things go so you can open up to these new opportunities. Two of air. Okay, so you're going to be conflicted. Right? This could be internal conflict where it's like, again, the fear of change. If you can get past that and, and just dip your, your toe into something new, just check it out before you dismiss it, right? See what it's all about, right? <laughs> and then you can open up to some of these opportunities. And this says being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Now, for some of you, this is the internal conflict, but this could be conflict with somebody else who, um, you know, you're ready to change, you're ready to go learn something new, go in a different direction. And someone says, no, 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 it could be a boss. You can't leave us. We're going through, I went through this in a corporation. You can't leave. We're going through a major merger. Well, I'm not the one doing it. So like, what do you care? Like you guys, you know, use me to, you know, fetch coffee and book conference rooms. What do you care? You know, let me go. So it could be something like that. Or for some of you, maybe it's a, a love partner, a spouse, or other people in your family, you know, who do play a role in the decision making but they're not ready to change maybe as fast as you are. Or that, that to me says that there needs to be compromise somewhere. Okay. So I'm squinting a little bit. I got in the shade so I wouldn't have to <laughs> have the sun in my face. But see, we're just testing new ground. It'll work itself out, right? Okay. Group one. Lilac. Strengthen your faith. The numbers 42 reduces to six. And with that uh, nine of air card, that's being worried about earthly things, right? It might be the bills, the house. Education's coming up, right? Because we had that eight of earth. So, you know, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to learn? How, 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 right? And this is saying strengthen your faith because, you know, when we are trying to overthink things, we're pushing out the help that is readily available so for example uh how i ended up in this temporary spot i was supposed to well in my head my lease was ending july 31st i would have my apartment set up in ohio i would just leave that apartment and go to ohio well the people who were so kind <laughs> to help me you know their work schedules weren't working out so um it's going to be a while before i can get to ohio so i'm here right and at first I was like oh but I no but I had my plan wait am I supposed to are we supposed to move all my stuff and then have to move it again okay like that sounded awful and I was like I don't know how this is oh that's gonna be so tough you know whatever but we went along with it and it's been beautiful and I've been able to bond uh and, and have you know strengthening these relationships and getting to know new people and they have a lot of pets so I've been able to have a, a doggy next to me when I'm sleeping you know it's just it's stretching me beyond my my own expectations and what's more I, I wasn't used to having a lot of people around and so that is getting me to open up and go oh it's kind of nice to have people around you see what I'm saying so have faith if anything comes up it's working for your benefit even if you don't think so Okay, so we'll leave it there for you guys. Did I say if you want to work with me, angelsouls444.com. I think you guys know where the website is. But you can go there, and uh, we'll catch you next week. I love you guys. Take care. Hi there, group two. Let's see what's going on for you. Please make sure that you watch the first part of the video. That's the other part of your message. And if you want to work with me, angelsouls444.com. Okay, most of you probably know that. And thank you all for liking, sharing these videos. It helps out a lot. Oh, we got it. <laughs> if you guys are on um, 
the clock app. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know the sound where it's like there's a song going on in the back, and they're like, well, you're doing this, this, you know, the Southwest Airlines plane goes by, and that's what that felt like. If you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but some of you who are on the clock app, that probably made you laugh, because that was literally the sound on, on there. But anyway, let's, let's tune into your energy and see what's going on here after this little itch gets scratched. There we go. You guys are raring to go. I can feel it. Now, whether that's coming from a good place or a panicked place, for each of you, it will be different. But, oh, yes. Yes, excuse me. And I saw that I'm shedding, too. Okay, so the first card out here we have for you guys is Eight of Water. Like I said, you guys are raring to go. Yeah, you're ready to go. A desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So you're set up for this. And what I like about this, water is emotions, obviously. And so you're emotionally ready to make some good happen. You know what I mean? So there are bugs everywhere out here. Whatever. Okay, I'm not into bugs. I like nature, but the bugs I could do without. So this is lovely. You guys are setting yourselves up in some way here. Let's see what the other cards. Justice. Okay, so let me fill this out. We're going to take the, you know, typical interpretation of the card. But I also... I can't talk today. Also... <laughs> Maybe I'm not okay. I don't know. It'll listen. We're just doing the best we can here. The number is eight, and I am recording this on August 8th, the 88 Lionsgate portal. So watch any, like, think of eight, it's abundance. Everybody always says it's abundance, and yeah, you can manifest during this time. But think about, you know, being in the flow or what interrupts your flow. Also think about patterns. What, what do you keep going around and around and around with? Right? If you turn on its side, we always say it's the infinity symbol again. What lessons karmically are you ready to let go of? Okay, like give give the lesson its due so you can release it. Now, Justice Archangel Raguel, this feels like it's equalizing. Raguel is all about playing nice with others, as I usually say. And there are the scales of justice there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, but my nails are awful. Don't look at those. Um, <laughs> but again, that balancing, things are working out. But it's working out because you're releasing maybe some anger around it or resentment. Or um, some of you might just be fed up. There may be a situation that's just been out of whack for a long time. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to give it over to the universe. Universe, you figure it out, you know? And the universe says, well, thank you. We've been waiting for you to make this decision, <laughs> right? So it says fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. So again, there is that card. Um, yeah, wanting to move on from the fight. Wanting things to be done. Wanting things that have stolen your peace to finally be resolved. Okay, bro. Where's that plane? <laughs> I hear it, but I don't see it. Five of fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Now, see, this is like, this feels very much, it's getting kind of loud. Let me pause a second. It's getting closer. Where you at, bro? I want to know where everyone's going. I guess everyone else is traveling but me right now. That's fine, because I need to unpack, but the heck <laughs> that was a couple of airplanes sorry about that okay so this feels like it's kind of like my way or the highway you're fired up about something you're again this fed up it's like I just want it to be done and you know some other people might be weighing in and saying that cannot be done that way that that's not advised or <laughs> you know whatever um uh, just everybody has their own agenda and they're not coming together very well. So be ready for that. We'll get more information here. King of Air. Brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Okay, so that, remember I was just saying, like someone says that's not advised. You might be feeling like you're getting some bad advice from someone. Get a second opinion, okay? Or look into it a little bit further. Balance mental and emotional considerations. <sighs> You're ready to go. You're ready to be done with something, but someone's saying not so fast. Again, this whole feeling of it doesn't work like that. You can't just do X, Y, and Z. But um, be careful. Again, you're ready to go and you're ready to push everybody out of your way <laughs> to make it happen. Make sure you're doing things in a fair and beautiful way. Okay? If any of you followed me back when I lived in New York City, I 
I used to live out in Queens and uh, we would hear the planes in the background from LaGuardia. This is loud. Um, and people were so fussy about it. They're like, I can hear a plane. I can, how, how you like me now? Okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really close to an airport now. Outside. The plane's like huge. And it was just going by. Yeah. How about that? Can't wait for the complaints. <laughs> hey, if you don't like it, give it to a place where I can afford a sound studio. And a crew. Let's do it. I'm ready. Okay. Plum. Let me tell you about Plum. Okay, look, it's so, it's so mysterious. I don't know. Plum, overcome your challenges. The number's 41. So it might be feeling this week like you're just working through mud and you're just like, why, why can't I get things to come together? What's the deal here, right? But it's because you're trying to get to the conclusion before you go through the journey and the journey is just as valuable if not more valuable than the conclusion. So again, keep in mind, I've been saying this to everybody, things are working out in our favor, even if it doesn't seem like it. Even if it's like, it seems like an obstacle, like big old honking airplanes in the air, whatever, okay? That's a lesson for me right now, to not be so uptight about the videos I'm creating. Most of you watch it maybe once, maybe twice. Oh, that's an, where are y'all going? Everybody's got private planes. Okay, okay, and here's me just down here doing this. <laughs> but, like, but yeah, the, the whole point here is that it, I'm learning to work with the environment and work with what's going on around here. I can't have everything my own way, right? So that's kind of what this is saying for you guys. Be careful. <laughs> it's really testing me. But that's okay, we're fine. We're fine. And yes, there will be, I can't concentrate. Well, that's, that's something you should work on. Like, I'm working on it. If I can concentrate, you can concentrate. I'm the one doing the reading. You're just listening, right? So, anyway, we'll leave it there for group two. I love you guys. And let's get on to group three. Hi, group three. Let's see. I put the cards over here. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Please make sure that you watch the beginning part. That's the other part of your message. If you want to work with me, angelsouls444.com. And thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. And once you get this out there, it supports me, this channel. All, all that stuff. All right. So let me tune into you guys. You guys are kind of the wanderers. I see, like, there's this image here where you guys are, like, sitting. Looks like sitting on a cliff. And your legs are kind of dangling over. And you're just looking off into the distance, like, what's possible? What can we possibly do here? So... Yeah, yeah. That's not a bad place to be, I don't think. Eight of water. I think group two just got this. Was it group two? Something like that. A desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So you're ready to move on, but you're still sort of crafting what that moving on looks like. You're crafting uh, the next steps. All right, so let's get more information for you here. Or fire you're getting your sense of self back and that's bringing in stability and you know how to shine your light contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project so here we are this is going to be a very i think for some of you a lovely time depends on how you are with change okay but allowing yourselves to feel stable They're saying making room for the peace. You got to make room for the peace. So that goes in with that whole first part where it's like, let this go. But the result for you guys is going to be a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Like where others are maybe struggling a little bit with the change or transformation. You're like, I've been at this bus stop more than a minute. Okay. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready to get going. Two of air, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. For you guys, this feels like I want to move on, but I've got this other consideration. Or maybe having two options. That's not really the typical meaning of this card, but this could have something to do with, um, the, you know, the example that just popped into my head. Like maybe you want to move on to a new career. The place that you worked at, they were not good to you. They wouldn't give you a raise. They wouldn't, you know, they passed you over for that promotion. So you went off and get another job. You get another job. And then they come back and they're like, huh. 
wait, we'll promote you. Wait. And you might be like, uh, you know which way you want to go. You know you want to move on. Remember, they treated you poorly, <laughs> right? Um, and it wasn't until you were leaving that they finally started, you know, showing appreciation, right? So just keep that in mind. All right. A severe baby. Yes. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation. I was just saying that. A challenging beginning. It is because, you know, the ego likes to get in there and have us overthink things. Um, but with this two of error and that example I was giving, you can apply that to anything. But, you know, this could be also a kind of thing in love. Like, hey, you haven't been treating me well, so I'm going to go. And then the person's like, oh, wait, wait, you know, don't. But you know. As challenging as it may be to walk away from a toxic situation, you know you got to do it. And this is saying, hey, you have all the mental strength to get yourself through. And for some of you, this is um, getting that part of yourself back. Okay. So, yes, there's some big movement going on here. Some big self-discoveries. But notice, this is like, if I, if I make room for inspiration, inspiration will flow. And you're realizing that now, which is lovely. All right. Scarlet attracts success. The number seven archangels are around you, helping you get going in this direction. And see, and that's it. That's it. Someone may have been talking you out of some inspired idea or just not. I feel for some of you, like someone just didn't want you to outshine them. And so they started doing everything they could to kind of pull you back. And you're waking up, baby. You're waking up and you're saying, nope, we're not doing this nonsense anymore. We're going to move on. I, I know my worth. Now, remember, this isn't just about jumping in. You sit differently on this chair. <laughs> she ain't 20 anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was all like to the side. Um. This isn't necessarily like, that's right, I'm just going to run into this because I want success. It's not that. It's this pure epiphany. This pure epiphany where you go, where, when did I lose myself? When did I stop, you know, being excited about the things that I love? When did I give up on things that I love? When did I give up on my dreams? When did I allow that to happen? When did survival completely overtake me? right? So there's something nice here. There's a little shift. All right. And, and I want you to like embrace this. It's not pushing. It's step by step. Okay. So there's a difference there. <laughs> Don't go just shoving ahead and, and missing all the details. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.